Greetings, humans. Spinning Mantis here with the next episode of our The Long Dark Guide. Today, we're going to focus on forging. That's something you're probably not going to be doing in the early game, but you certainly might want to do in the mid to late game uh, to make arrowheads and make replacement knives and hatchets. So, I am standing here in Desolation Point. This is the only uh, spot on, uh, in the game that currently has um, a forge. You can see over there, to the right, or straight ahead, um, there is the wreck of the Riken. That is where the forge is located. Um, here is Hibernia Processing, which is like a whaling plant. And here's a yellow sign for trucks. So, what I wanted to show you was, you will need coal to get the forge hot enough. So, right past that sign, go ahead and run up here. This little unpaved path. Got the entrance to abandoned mine number five. Inside here, you will likely find uh, enough coal to get your forging done. So um, you may have picked some up as you came into the zone. There's really only one way to get into the desolation point zone um, at, the, at the current time. It's one end of the map. That's the broken bridge. You cannot get past that. All the way down the other side is um, a cave-in. You cannot get past the other end of the road. There is just another abandoned mine that you can get here from Crumbling Highway, which is the intermediate zone from Coastal Highway. So, I am heading over here and not to the forge because um, if you want a forge, you may not have an item needed called the Heavy Hammer. I think you are fairly guaranteed to find a Heavy Hammer for your forging and your smelting and your metalworking. I think you can pretty much always find one inside Hibernia processing. So what we're going to do is we are going to run in here and I'm going to show you the location of where you should be able to find the hammer. I found it in three different locations inside one room down here so this is a good shot as any if you need to find a hammer if you don't don't worry about it and wow I am almost out of lamp fluid so let's get through here quickly through the main rooms down these stairs okay so down here you uh, can also find a hacksaw, so right here on the wall. I have found the hammer there one time, so you can look for the hammer there. And lo and behold, there's our heavy hammer on this second pegboard, so we're going to go ahead and take that. And then also, you can see there's a safe there. Um, I also found the hammer one time I think down there and I think one time on top of this workbench which is handy to get to so we got our hammer and we got our hacksaw let's head out of here sorry about that and it's gonna be dark for a second and then in three, two, one, we are going to leave the warehouse. And so that's really what we wanted to get. We wanted to get our heavy hammer. You're going to need that. Um, that's one thing you know you might get all ready to go ahead and forge and have all your stuff, and then you're like, oh, I don't have a hammer. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to head directly out of this area and head over to the wreck of the Riken. And now I've already gone ahead and gathered uh, materials for this over at the Riken. Um, as I suggested before, and I'll suggest again, you know, don't 
carry around coal, don't carry around wood when you don't have to, find the place where it's going to be useful and stack it up there. So um, always take your coal that you have discovered in the mines and perhaps elsewhere, like on the Riken, there's always a few pieces on the Riken, like three to six pieces. Um, we aren't going to mess around with going upstairs in the Riken. I've already uh, explored the ship. Basically, uh, I just started this playthrough the other day, um, popped in, and in like three days of game time, I had gathered tons of stuff for us to do this forging. So it's pretty easy. I wouldn't recommend this to be your main hangout zone. So you can see down there is the lighthouse, which is a good base. We are going to enter the belly of the Riken and get to forging. So it is just straight back. And let's forge by flare light. So you can see our cool forge over here. Um, I have stacked up a bunch of sticks, a bunch of cedar firewood, a bunch of scrap metal, which is what you need to make your metal items, a bunch of fur firewood, reclaimed wood, newsprint books, newspaper rolls. Where's the coal? And then, this is a big old pile of coal. I have a lot. So, um, the first thing you have to do is you have to get the furnace going with regular wood and such. Now I need to pick some stuff up. So, good for starting fires are books in the game. Not really. Like Newsprints and some cedar firewood. You cannot use the coal straight away. It will not let you. So we've got macabre matches. Uh, doesn't matter which of those of you use. Accelerants. Yeah, let's not mess around. Let's just go for it. Get that fire going. Okay, so now you will be able to see that um, it's going to burn for 15 minutes. That's really weird. We're going to want to go ahead and put in pieces of cedar, so it's going to go for two hours, but you're going to see it is not hot enough for forge. we will say forge temperature required 270. You're going to see that this is going to, the forge is going to top out um, just from the cedar firewood really quickly. So we're going to say, ah, oh, well, let's put some coal in. So to do this, I think basically what we need is a couple pieces of cedar firewood, stuff to start a fire, and I think it's seven pieces of coal, we will see in a minute, but you need a certain number of pieces of coal to get the forge up to the proper 270 degrees. So let's see, uh, it won't let us add the coal yet, it says uh, 16 minutes are needed before we can add the coal. So at this point, I actually had noticed that uh, I was running low on water. So let's uh, make a little water. Okay, I lost my flare. Got no flare. Crap. Light this up. We've got an hour and 26 minutes on that. Um, so let's. It should be ready for the coal now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's put five in first and see how high that gets us. And you'll also see that really adds a lot of hours to your forging time.
It's still going up. But I do not think five is enough. Not at all. So five pieces of coal is going to get us maybe to like 220, 205. And I'm pretty sure one more piece isn't going to do it. So I'll drop two more pieces in. And that is going to bring us to like 290, I think. 277. Perfect. So now we can forge. We've got eight hours uh, worth of time on the furnace and the forge. So actually don't think I have any uh, do not think I have any more lantern fuel fuel this I do good for us let's refuel that puppy light her up cool so let's go and just pick up all our scrap metal and take a look at what we can build. So you're not messing with the furnace, you're messing with the forge. So we can make an arrowhead with one piece of scrap metal that takes one hour. We can make an improvised knife with scrap metal and cloth, which takes three hours. We can make an improvised hatchet with cloth and scrap metal. That's really odd. I thought it was going to be fur firewood, but it's cloth for improvised hatchets and stuff. So let's go ahead. We have our required heavy hammer. Let's exit out and not waste our light. There we go. We have made two arrowheads from one piece of metal. Looks like I have enough to make this stuff. So, three hours crafting. We created a improvised knife. I'm going to go and make sure we're not going to die of thirst and such. Well, as we do this, get that soda. Go back to the forge. We've got Hmm. So at this point, you can, you don't have to put coal in to, uh, at this point you don't have to put coal in to keep it going. It will maintain its heat. So I can go ahead and throw in, uh, cedar firewood to keep it going. So go here, put in this, so now I've got five hours left. Um, and it will keep that excellent, excellent heat. So, put that out, go back to the forge, let's create that uh, improvised... We created the improvised knife, did we? Let's take a look at our inventory, at the items. So we've got our two arrowheads, we looted this uh, hacksaw, we looted this uh, heavy hammer, we've got an improvised knife, so let's create that improvised hatchet. There we go. And we've created the improvised hatchet. So let's take a look at everything we made. Um, improvised knife, 100%. Durability. Improvise hatchet, 100% durability. Arrowhead, 100% durability. Go ahead, add the uh, feathers and the arrow shaft, which I think is from uh, the, either the birch or the maple branch, um, to make arrows for the bow. Um, the new mechanic in the game is that hatchets and knives, hunting knives, can only be sharpened with the whetstone for a certain amount of time, and they will degrade, and there will be a certain part in the game uh, if you play for long enough, 
where you won't have any more hatchets or knives anymore and you'll have to create some. So here we go, improvise hatchet, improvise knife. Um, what you want to bring to the table is seven pieces of coal, um, one or two pieces of cedar firewood longer. I'd say bring four or five if you want to get more stuff done. If you're making a lot of arrowheads, it's going to take a while. Um, uh, scrap metal for your arrowheads. One piece of scrap metal makes two arrowheads. Um, three pieces of scrap metal and one cloth makes an improvised knife. Five pieces of scrap metal and one piece of cloth makes the improvised hatchet. It takes four hours. It takes three hours. It takes one hour each. So, remember that's what you've got to bring to the game. You've got to bring your coal, seven pieces. Your heavy hammer. Hacksaw, if you don't have a whole lot of metal to break metal stuff like these shelves down. And that is pretty much it for forging. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, I really appreciate it if you like it and subscribe. And I hope you join me next time uh, for my long dark gameplay walkthroughs as well as any guides. See ya. Namaste.